I saw this article on Bounding in the Comic, or there's two articles, remind me at the end to go to the other one too, uh, on Bounding. It's a peak virtue signaling stupidity. Let's protest something that doesn't exist while e we ignore an evil that actually does exist. What pussies. So Marvel artist uh, Muhammad and Frank Cho appear to endorse Antifa after President Trump declares Antifa will be classified as a terrorist organization. Stunning and brave. What a lovely cover of a horrible, horrible comic. Multiple riots that led to violence, looting multiple cities, Minneapolis, etc. It comes after a Department of Homeland Security classified Antifa as domestic terrorists. Despite Trump's declaration that the declaration that the United States would be designated them as the bad guys, uh, Mohammed appeared to endorse the organization, sharing the hashtag comic artists against fascism and released a symbol alluding to Antifa's logo. Gee, you think maybe you want to release a hashtag comic artists against violent crime or something? There's, there's no fascism in America. It is a straw man for anyone to the right of Stalin or white people in, in general. Where's the hashtag comic artists against uh, violent crime and struggle snuggles? seems odd that they're against something that doesn't exist when the murder rate in Chicago actually does exist. But that is done by, let's just say, not fair-skinned people and uh, brainwashed comic book artists will never mention that. Isn't murder a more relevant issue than issues that aren't murder? Am I taking crazy pills if I am? I mean, take them with me. Maybe this all makes sense. Um... Stunning and brave. Frank Cho would also share that image. Facebook caption it. F. Trump. Dude, you're 50. Stop. Stop. With, you're not edgy. Robert De Niro, you're not edgy. You're just, you're just a douchebag. You're so fucking cringe. Okay, stunning and brave means you're standing up against something when you're going to get some shit in return. To be in a left-wing industry populated with 99% left-wing people... And say a left-wing uh, cause, that's, that's nothing. You're just jerking yourself off. You're just jerking your whole crew of pussies off. That's a weird visual there. Uh, comic artist against fascism. Where is the fascism? Where, can you give me, give me some examples? No, you can't because it doesn't. Effing exist. Yeah, this cover suck. Yeah, okay, he had some work on other stuff. Blah, 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 blah. They endorse Antifa, domestic terrorists. Okay, they call it uh, climate change because global warming sounds scary. That's not why they changed the name. He then added, they call them Antifa because anti-fascist is a position any reasonable person would support. Choose your own words. Yeah, most people are anti-communist and anti-fascist, except there's no threat of fascism in America. America is... It's about half European and uh, about a third Mexican and uh, a bunch of other folks, a so 13% black, and then, you know, whatever. Uh, and in, in 20 years, it's going to be about 40% Mexican, 40 plus percent Mexican and a declining 40% European American. So it, it, it'll be Mexico's, Mexican's country in a few years, and they can run it however they choose. They can deal with uh, the violent crime, they can deal with whatever they want. The point is, it's impossible for America to ever be a fascist. How are you going to have a diverse fascist state? You think Americans are going to kick out 150 million Mexicans? How would they do that exactly when they're the ones who allowed them to come in in the first place to replace them? Why would they say, oh, well, you know, 50 million was too many, but 150 million is, we need to kick those out. It's a, what you're saying doesn't even make any sense. These are the very people who opened the door and said, yes, come in, immigrate, replace the European people. They're happy about it. Okay, so, so how do they act other than fighting? Populate. Damn it. Actual fascists. Except they don't. There are no actual fascists. Who want to curtail the right of Jews, blacks, women's, Muslims. I never heard of Antifa oppressing anyone except people who want to oppress others. Okay, the Antifa is oppressing people like these uh, First and Second Man Amendment groups who are, I guess they're vaguely Christian or Christian groups who want to speak out about free expression and the Second Amendment, as is their consciously protected right. Antifa, they may call themselves anarchists or, capital, or um, 
libertarians or whatever, socialists, communists, and they're communists. I mean, it all it all leads in one direction, all leads communism. Before you say, oh, well, doesn't being a conservative or Republican, doesn't that lead one direction too? Yeah, it leads left. All these political ideologies all lead left. It's just that conservatives are moving left slowly and the uh, left of center people are moving left quickly. That's it. That's how it works. Okay, so she's... Zoe Quinn, pig fucker, is defending not only the battery of throwing the harmful offensive touching, of throwing an object at another human being. Uh, she's defending them putting poison in the milk. Oh, well, they're only putting cement. Yeah, that's poison. That's a caustic chem uh, a chemical. You're putting a base, you know, burning base element, chem chemical, in a milkshake to hurt someone. You can't... That's you cannot defend that and be the good guys. The only way they can defend this type of stuff is if they straw, uh, straw man Andy to go, or steel man Andy to go, I guess, by saying he's such a monster that it is okay to throw caustic chemicals on him. And then she tries to downplay it by saying, oh, well, actually, cement mixed with milkshakes, you know, a fluid, an aqueous solution is not actually that dangerous. Then, but why are they doing it in the first place? Why were you... Isn't the milkshake the battery, the simple battery, enough? You're adding poison to a simple battery and making it an av aggravated battery. Why would you defend that? You people are the wrong people. And in the go is a gay Asian reporter. That's it. There is no, there's no right-wing conspiracy. The country is less than uh, maybe half European people. The right-wingers in the country are maybe a quarter of America. There's... If you had a hundred percent of those right wingers turned fascist, turned literally Nazis, what are they going to do against the other two hundred and fifty million people? This is a complete straw man. They know it's a straw man, and and the thing is, there are a lot of useful idiots in Antifa. Kids who were mentally ill, coming from single moms, they're untreated mental illness. There's a lot of that going on. And there's a lot of just LARPing and stuff. But the people who are pulling the strings, they know there's no threat of of fascism. It's, it's nonsense. They're communists. They just want, they, so they want a communist society. And the people, the liar worm tongues who are whispering, they don't care what kind of society they have. As long as one, they're on top, they're able to still make money, take money out of the country into their own hands. And they need to, the only way they can do that is by fomenting as much discord as possible. And when you have these groups fighting, that's what you get. So that's why Mayor Wheeler and Jacob Fry and the governor of that state, um, that's why they're doing the things they do. They let Antifa, they encourage it. There are photos of the district attorneys with a uh, Antifa handbook. Why do you think they're doing that? Why do you think they all have the same agenda? So she's defending chemicals. If, uh, if, it, was, if it was reversed, if you had, uh, God, I don't know if I say this, most protected group, well, I'll, I'll just say, okay, if you had um, any other group, any other group where the people were putting cement in shakes and God knows what else they're putting in them and throwing them on them. A group of Muslims, a group of Muslim women in hijabs, how would you feel then? Is it harmless then? Is it just fun? Well, no, because it's coming from the bad people. And we say our name is anti-something bad. So we must, by default, be the good people. Well... Anyone can name themselves anything. You think the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea is really uh, democratic? So she goes on a long diatribe defending this. And she says, just FYI, Antifa violence will give the Nazis ammo. That assumes these people haven't been targeting people for effing years already. Well, what have they done? Who have they hurt? No one. Never. Go to Chicago or St. Louis. There's a shooting. Over the weekend, there was like 27 people shot. In Chicago, it, it wasn't it wasn't um, fair-skinned people doing the shooting, so they are terrified. These people, the liberals, are terrified of black people. They are terrified of just saying, "Hey, we got a problem with violence in your community," and the only way to address the issue is by addressing the issue. Oh, well, you're canceled on Twitter. Uh, that, uh, we're up against force that wants to visit violence on so many as an end goal and won't back down. There, yeah, that's you guys. Before Corona, fuck China, economy was good. 
unemployment was way down, home ownership, which is a pretty good indicator of a stable society other than, you know, a, a nuclear family, all that was doing well, and so the, the parasites whose goal is to destroy nations, they just can't have that. You can't have... They, 2016 was uh, something that terrified them. They cannot have a nationalist nation. They have to destroy it. And so they have. I mean, they successfully have. They, they definitely won that battle. Anyway, um, where's that? I wish I could... i got to get some better editing software on my... I'm doing all this crap on my phone, so it's like editing is pretty rough. F. Trump. Stunning and brave, buddy. Stunning and brave. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. If you're on Bitch, you subscribe. If you're on YouTube and you want to encourage this con content, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, click the links. You can send me a couple bucks, or you can even use my P.O. box to send me comics or whatever kind of stuff you want to support. Cigars, you know, weed, whiskey, whatever. Hey, I'm, you know, I'm not saying send me anything illegal, ammunition, liberty devices. I'm not saying that. You know, whatever you send in my P.O. box is, is cool and definitely appreciate it. Thanks to all those who have supported the channel. Anyway, guys, I will see you all next episode.